The gentle hum of the airplane's engines created a soothing backdrop, yet tension hung thick in the air, palpable and uneasy among the passengers. It was an early morning flight from Atlanta to New York, and the cabin was nearly full, packed with a mixture of business travelers, families, and individuals like Robert Miller. As the plane prepared for takeoff, the vibrant patchwork of people reflected the diversity of American society, yet one interaction would soon stand out amidst the chaos of travel. Robert, an elderly black man with a distinguished air about him, boarded the plane. Each of his steps was deliberate, slow but steady, hinting at the wisdom and life experiences etched into the lines of his face. A retired school principal, Robert was on his way to visit his grandchildren, a journey he cherished deeply. His heart filled with warmth at the thought of seeing their smiling faces. He maneuvered through the narrow aisle until he found his seat, 12C, an aisle seat that would provide easy access during the flight. Beside him sat a young woman named Emily, likely in her early 20s. Dressed casually in a graphic tee and jeans, she was absorbed in her own world, earbuds plugged in, seemingly oblivious to the rest of the cabin. Her feet stretched out, intruding upon Robert's designated space, a sign of disrespect he would soon have to address. As Robert approached, his face displaying the dignity and calm demeanor he had cultivated over his years, he gently tapped Emily on the shoulder to gain her attention. She pulled out one earbud, glancing up at him with a hint of annoyance. Excuse me, miss, Robert said politely, but could you please move your feet so I can sit down? Emily barely registered his words, her eyes rolling with irritation as she shifted her feet slightly, just enough to allow him to settle in, though they remained intrusively close. Robert sighed inwardly, the moment serving as a painful reminder of the many instances of subtle racism and disrespect he had faced throughout his life. As the flight attendants began their pre-takeoff routines, one of them, a woman named Laura, noticed the uneasy situation unfolding between Robert and Emily. Laura, who had worked for the airline for over a decade, had a keen sense for conflict brewing among passengers. With a friendly smile, she approached them. Good morning, dears. Can I help you with anything? She asked, sensing the tension in the air. Robert smiled up at her, attempting to mask his discomfort. No, thank you. I'm fine, he replied, though the furrow in his brow spoke volumes. Emily, on the other hand, ignored Laura completely, her eyes glued to her phone, her feet still encroaching into Robert's space. Laura frowned slightly, deciding to address the issue directly. Miss, could you please move your feet? We need to ensure everyone is comfortable and has their personal space, she said, her voice calm yet firm. Emily looked up, irritation clear on her face. I'm comfortable just like this. Why should I have to move my feet? Her defiance was evident, and Robert felt the weight of her words bearing down on him. Laura's expression remained composed, though her eyes hardened slightly. It's a matter of respect and courtesy. Please move your feet. With a huff, Emily reluctantly moved her feet, placing them flat on the floor. Laura thanked her and continued her duties, though she kept a watchful eye on the situation. As the plane took off, Robert tried to relax, but found it challenging with Emily's disrespect lingering in the air. Halfway through the flight, Robert needed to stretch his legs. Slowly, he stood up, using the armrest for support. When he returned to his seat, he found Emily's feet had once again found their way back into his space. His patience wore thin as he sighed deeply, feeling the frustration rising within him. Excuse me again, miss. Could you please move your feet so I can sit down? Robert asked, his voice still calm, yet a hint of frustration seeped through. Emily glared at him, crossing her arms defiantly. Why don't you sit somewhere else? There are plenty of other seats. Her dismissive tone stung, and Robert's heart sank as he felt her disregard for his presence. Before he could respond, Laura reappeared, having noticed the escalating tension. Is there a problem here? she asked, her tone firmer this time. He's just being difficult, Emily said dismissively. I don't see why I have to move my feet. Laura's eyes flashed with anger, but she maintained her composure. Miss, this gentleman has the right to sit in his assigned seat without being crowded. This is about respect and following simple rules. Emily crossed her arms defiantly, her bravado faltering. I don't see what the big deal is. He's just being old and cranky. The words hit Robert like a slap, a mixture of hurt and anger flashing through his eyes. 
Laura, however, decided enough was enough. She knelt down to Robert's level, her voice soft yet firm. Mr. Miller, would you mind coming with me for a moment? I'd like to offer you a more comfortable seat. Grateful for her kindness, Robert nodded as he stood up. Laura turned to Emily, her expression serious. Stay right here. I'll be back to talk to you in a moment. As Laura escorted Robert to an empty seat in first class, he felt a wave of relief wash over him. I apologize for the inconvenience, Mr. Miller. Please enjoy the rest of your flight, she said warmly. Robert thanked her, feeling gratitude for her understanding and support. Meanwhile, Laura returned to coach class, where Emily was waiting, now looking slightly uneasy. Miss, Laura began, her voice steady but stern, your behavior is unacceptable. Disrespecting another passenger, especially someone elderly, is not tolerated. Emily's bravado began to falter as she realized the seriousness of the situation. I didn't mean anything by it, she muttered weakly. Laura led her to the back of the plane where the flight crew had a small seating area. I want you to understand the impact of your actions, Laura said firmly. You've shown a complete lack of respect and common decency. You'll stay here for the rest of the flight, and I'll be reporting this incident to the airline's management. Emily's face turned pale as the weight of Laura's words sank in. She nodded mutely, realizing there was no arguing her way out of this situation. The rest of the flight proceeded without incident, a stark contrast to the tension that had filled the cabin just moments before. When the plane landed, Laura made sure to personally escort Robert off the plane, ensuring he was comfortable and had everything he needed for his onward journey. Robert felt a sense of vindication, grateful for Laura's intervention and support. On the other hand, Emily was met by airport security and airline officials who were ready to further address her behavior. Word of the incident spread rapidly among the passengers and soon, a video taken by another traveler went viral on social media. It highlighted not just the disrespect shown to Robert, but also Laura's firm and compassionate handling of the situation. Support poured in from across the country, with many praising Laura for her actions, calling her a hero for standing up for what was right. The airline commended Laura for upholding their values, emphasizing the importance of treating all passengers with dignity and respect. For Robert, the experience, though unpleasant, reaffirmed his belief in the goodness of people. The support and kindness he received reminded him that respect and decency still mattered in a world that often seemed divided. Emily, after facing the consequences of her actions, reflected on her behavior. The public backlash and the intervention from airline officials served as a wake-up call. She realized the importance of empathy and respect for others, vowing to change her attitude moving forward. The incident on the plane became a powerful lesson in humanity, reminding everyone involved that no matter how small the space or how fleeting the encounter, respect and kindness should always be at the forefront of our actions. For Robert, it was a reminder that even in the face of disrespect, dignity and resilience would always prevail. He felt empowered by the experience, inspired by the support he had received from fellow passengers and especially from Laura, whose actions highlighted the importance of standing up for what is right. From this story, we can learn several key lessons. First and foremost, it underscores the importance of basic human decency and respect for others, particularly for the elderly. The incident illustrates how small acts of rudeness can have significant emotional impacts and that everyone deserves to be treated with dignity, regardless of age or background.